this video, we're going to talk about some upgrade preparation steps before upgrading to vSphere 6.7. Now, before we jump into those steps, it's important to note that there is no direct upgrade from 5.5 to 6.7. So you need to get to 6.0 or 6.5 first before going to vSphere 6.7. And it's also important to note that vSphere 5.5 goes end of general support this year, later in 2018. So let's jump into it. So we'll assume you're running either vSphere 6.0 or 6.5, but you may have some ESX 5.5 host in your environment. So the first thing you need to do is upgrade any remaining ESXi 5.5 to a minimum of 6.0 or 6.5, depending on what version of vCenter you're currently running. The next thing you might want to do is upgrade any VMFS data stores. From VMFS 3 to VMFS 5. So these may be older data stores that have existed for a long time. Now would be a good time to upgrade them to a minimum of VMFS 5 or create new VMFS 6 data stores. The next thing you may want to look at is upgrading your distributed switches. So even though you're running vSphere 6.0 or 6.5, you may have an older distributed switch that's running version 5.5 so you need to upgrade the distributed switch to a minimum of 6.0. And the last thing that we may want to do is upgrade our host profiles. Now, there's no built-in upgrade mechanism for a host profile. So once you've upgraded all your hosts to 5.5, to ensure that your host profiles were extracted from either 6.0 or 6.5, extract new reference host profiles. So that's it, that's some of the upgrade prerequisites that you may want to look at your environment to prepare yourself for upgrading to vSphere 6.7. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this video.